St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so, uh... Let's get moving. It's clear. Are you going to come out and eat something? Warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something or? Yeah. 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 <sighs> God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, neither am I. You call me here.
St. John, come in. Hey, you're not this is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Good, good choice, gotta say. Well, there you go. Oh, Cor Corporal St. John, you, you stay safe, yeah? Corporal. Hey, Serge. Talk to you later, Serge. The Diamond Lake Outpost. Captain, yes, sir. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? 
the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks Perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over? will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. Corporal. Deacon. Good. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us, or for the militia. You know, I mean... It does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross. Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders, and he must have gotten in over his head. Private Ross. I don't know him, but uh, I'll get him out alive, Captain. Good luck, St. John. Dismissed. Captain Curie. 
come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. Curry's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. Captain Jimenez. Something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find them. Radio me if you do. And Corporal, the Colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah. Copy that. St. John out. Corporal St. John, are you there? I need you to report to me in command at your convenience. Colonel, of course, sir. St. John out. Should work. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth <laughs> shall set you free. Before the shit went down, you talked about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing. This went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys? An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. Yeah, they fostered something. You know, one of the places that got hit first. And somewhere, betrayed the Cope, maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. burning out this infestation zone.
That was a lot of goddamn murders. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, Ethan. I presume, uh, yeah? How are you doing, Corporal? Buddy? Man, am I glad to see you. Yeah? You didn't want to join up with those assholes? Hell no. And I had no idea what they were going to do to me. Yeah, well, it wasn't going to be good. Uh, are you good to get out of here on your own? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man.